Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. So today we are going to be playing some rank 35, some rank 34s, whatever they are. We are going to be playing my high, high, high brawlers with randoms today and seeing if we can win. Now today's a little bit of a weird video and let me explain. So if you guys see all these teams on my uh, friends list that are scrimming right now and practicing, they're actually practicing for MSI, which stands for Mid-Season Invitational that is taking place in Sweden. So they're all in Sweden right now and in literally less than three and a half hours, I will be on my flight towards Sweden. But I'm super hyped to be going. International events are always a lot of fun and you know, call me a little bit last minute, call me whatever you want but i wanted to get one more video out so we're gonna be playing our high brawlers we're gonna start off with buzz ring of fire so that being said let's cue into it matchmaking is probably gonna be a little bit long so let's skip before we get into the rest of the video let's talk a little bit about a game i've been playing blitz rise of heroes rise of heroes is a very captivating game that includes 70 campaign chapters and over 50 heroes in the game there's a lot of ways to play and communicate with your friends in the game one of them being by making your own guild or by joining one there is a huge safety in numbers so i would highly recommend joining a guild because it can only help you in the game you can go on guild hunts by attacking Moltar two times a day and defending your settlements to help rank up your guild and become a higher level. You can also play the new PvE mode Treasure Maze which has a very complex network of passageways. There is a ton to do in that PvE mode. I would definitely check it out. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Although the Flaming Fortress is probably the most fun I have in the game. It's very enticing. It's very challenging but I do love a challenge. There are 500 floors in the building Number one, the easiest. Number 500, the hardest. The higher up you go, the harder. But it is very challenging. I really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. Now, finally, there's the dice event where you can earn tickets by completing daily tasks and competing in certain battles. And last but definitely not least, do not forget about the referral system. It is much more fun to play games with your friends. So if you can get your friends to play along with you, definitely do so. And by using your referral code, you will also get stuff in game that'll help you out. Thank you to Rise of Heroes for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back into it. All right, so we finally got a game. We're going up against Sandy Lee. Oh, work. Please. Please work. Okay, so we finally got a game. My recording device stopped working for whatever reason for the first part of it, but we're going up against Sandy, Leon, and Pam. We got a crow on our team, so I actually kind of like our chances as well as a max, which kind of complements the buzz. So I am kind of liking our chances in this game. Hopefully the randoms aren't too, you know, random. But we do have a good start so far i mean we are winning by a little bit crow is probably the best brawler on this map to be honest so having a crow as one of our random brawlers is pretty huge but i'm just gonna try and like spawn trap them for the most part doing a pretty good job of it it is a pretty equal game right now i'm gonna go on this left side over here and hide behind the wall gonna go for a nice pull maybe a bit too early but we are gonna end up getting one kill crow is going to jump in he's going to die max is doing his very best 100 HP, he's gonna go down. The Sandy does still have a sleep, which is not good. Oh my God. Please don't full clip me. No, please, Crow, please. Oh my God. See, that's kind of what I was talking about with the randoms being uh, a little bit too random. Yeah, this game is over. He's gonna waste his speed. Yeah, this game's chalked. We did our very best. We got the 75%, which is pretty good. Three quarters of the way there is pretty solid, but that's going to be it for game number one. So we are now going to move on to our next brawler, which I believe is Ash. I think we're gonna play Ash on beach ball because why not? So let's queue in. Hopefully we get a game fast. All right, so this matchmaking also took pretty long, but we are now in game two. We have Zeta Tensai on our team. I don't know if this is going to be the real Zeta Tensai. I strongly doubt it, uh, but we are honestly kind of countered here. We will not be winning this game. Unless this Colt really is Tensai, because they have such a good comp into Ash. I'm going to be losing all my trophies this video. Um, oh, that's a pretty good shot right there. Come on, let's put that down. Stop! Gale is so good. Gale is such a strong brother. Come on, Tensai! Go, Tensai! Oh, Tensai is kind of whiffing. So is the Gale, though. Okay, Tensai does end up getting the kill. I need that! All right. Well, you know, that's not going to be too good for me. I kind of need that grass and walls to move up the map, but I guess that stuff's overrated. I, you know, I am playing with these Zeta Tensai, so he will know the best strategies, of course. Please? Oh my god, I almost got a kill there. There we go, got that kill. That's going to be a pretty big miss right there, so we do have a chance to get the goal, or not get the goal, but get this out of the goal. Zeta Tensai is going to have to move that ball quickly because a Gale is coming for his face. 
Come on, let's get the ball out. Let's get it out. Yep. All right, good job right there. Let's get a nice peak. We're not going to hit the peak shot. This is not good. If the game gets to overtime, we have automatically lost. The game just ends the second we get into overtime. Unless we somehow pull out a miracle. Um, unfortunately, our Bonnie is going to miss super, so... That's, you know, not the greatest thing in the world, but should be fine. I'm going to throw down my rats onto the Gale. Gale's going to cycle his super and kill me pretty easily. What was that? All right, well, there it goes. Oh, my God. The little Bonnie's kind of going crazy right now. We're kind of getting carried. Ball in the top left right now. Zeta Tensai is going to get a kill. So I, they're going to let me move up the map at the very least, which is really good. I did get up the map because of my teammates. Awesome playing. Come on. Whack him. Put that down. This Bonnie is definitely going for a play. We're not going to let that happen. Get the Gale, get the Gale, get the Gale! All right, we got the Gale. 15 seconds left. 14. Just the surge here now. Going to throw this down. Oh my god, there's a chance. Oh no, there's not a chance. All right. Put this down. Oh my god, good heals. Just the Gale alive. All right, there we go. And we kill the Gale. Tensai is going to put that in the net. And that is going to be a 1-0 win. So we actually do end up winning with Ash. We beat someone at 1,223 trophies. Well, this is definitely not the real 10 side, but thank you to these randoms for being pretty good. Start player right there. So we're going to play one more game. We have to play gem grab, I guess. We're going to whip out the fang. And uh, it's not crazy high, so hopefully we get a game fast. Let's hop into it, and let's see what happens. All right, so here we go into our final game here. We're going to be going up again against the Bonnie. No surprise, because it just came out. Um, this guy's going to shoot at me. I guess he knows who I am. So so hopefully, you know, he steps it up and we get on our carry stuff this game. I definitely should not be laning a spike. That is probably the last brawler with Fang that I should be laning. So I'm going to go over to this left side over here. Oh, we also have a crow, though. Crow also shouldn't be laning a spike. All right, well, that crow is just going to have to suffer. Sorry, crow. Because I will not be the one suffering. We're going to get a kill over there on the Bonnie. Good slow over there by the crow. So he can definitely deal with the spike a little bit better than I can, I think. Uh, we're gonna get a pretty easy kill over there. Ems is now one shot. We're gonna pick up that kill pretty easily. You guys didn't see that. Anyways, we got six gems now at least. You know, I got the gems out. Maybe not. I got the gems out. You know, that was maybe a good play. Kind of not really. Definitely not. Um, oh my god. See that? Crazy IQ plays right there too. I knew that would happen. Bike is pretty low. I'm pretty low though, so I can't really rush in onto the spike, especially because spike will literally delete me if I do. Let's get this. Come on. All right, we get that kill over there. I will not be getting out, but we're looking pretty good. Bonnie does jump on our Piper though, which is pretty scary. Crow has used all the slows, so this is gonna be kind of an unfortunate ending for us, maybe. Uh, Bonnie's going for a little bit of peak shots. I got my super, so I'm feeling a little bit dangerous right now. Let's go for the chain. Oh, if we chained onto the M's, we could have cycled supers over there. Unfortunately, we went left, but you know what? Still a 7-7 game. Hopefully, I can make a play here. Do you guys see how fast I went down? I really cannot be going near a spike with my super. Also, I should probably get my super. Anyways, we're one gem off of winning. Really hope that my Piper and... Please don't. All right. Well, Piper did end up dying, but we are... Please hit some shots. Please hit some shots. Please, please, please get me out of here. Oh, my God. All right. Well, we got out successfully spike down oh two tap right there that is clean two taps that is probably going to be game crow please don't throw crow please don't throw all right crow did not throw that is going to be game and you know what the randoms did a pretty good job today we did push our pretty high brawlers with randoms so that is pretty good but unfortunately that's going to be all that i have time for now i have three hours until my flight so i should really get on going i do have to eat and stuff still and kind of finish packing so i should really head on out but uh anyways thank you guys for watching if you guys want to keep up with the msi stuff just follow brawl esports on twitter you can follow my twitter as well and then you'll just see all the updates and stuff like that but that's going to be it for me today i will catch you guys when i'm back from sweden and i'll see you guys later peace